There you go. There we go. There it is. <laughs> awesome. All right, continue. Um, All right, thank you. Mitch, are you able to uh, allow me to uh, share my screen? I am gladly. Ah, uh, perfect. Okay, let me just go ahead and get the deck up here, and we will get the party started. All right. Uh, bump, 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 bump. You should be seeing my deck. Mitcha, are you all good yep. on your end yep. here? Yep. Okay. We can see your, we can see your deck. Just gotta start the show and we're good to go. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we are talking about a lot of Instagram today and this idea of becoming your city celebrity using that platform uh, in particular today. So my name is Christy Keneally. I am a marketing technology director for a company called West. West is a sister company to WFG. Uh, and let's see, I was Realtor.com's first female national speaker. I have run marketing for a couple different uh, tech companies in real estate and mortgage. But before all of that, I was a Broadway dancer. Wow. I, which just makes it weird. I know. Uh, but I was the really nerdy Broadway dancer that helped everyone get on AOL back in the day. So uh, anyway, that is me in Cats. I played Rumpel Teaser for like 84 years. And uh, that's me with Matthew Broderick and How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. So I got to kiss Ferris Bueller eight times a week. And I, Mitch, I should probably put that on my resume. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And I played Peter Pan a whole bunch. So yeah, I know you're like, really? We're at a tech class and they have brought in an old Broadway dancer. Yes, that's happening today. Uh, so these were some highlights from the acting career. But, you know, Google never lets you forget. There was one low light. If you were to deep dive on me on Google, you would find out that I've also played an oyster. So... Highs and lows uh, captured on Google. And I think I've put most of that on Instagram. So anyway, Instagram, here we go. We're going to brand yourself uh, uh, on Instagram. Reassure your audience about uh, what you're doing in, with regard to real estate in your cities. I hope to save you some time today with some of the techniques that we will learn and hopefully get you more exposure. That's what this is about. There's a window of opportunity with Instagram right now. Uh, and what is this window all about? What is the content that's working? I know this shouldn't be shocking to anybody, but it's short form video. In terms of the most engaging types of in-feed social content, images still work, but you can even make your images short form video now. Uh, so video, short form, that's what we're going to focus on quite a bit today, specifically Instagram Reels. So uh, what are Reels? Uh, they are short form video. We're talking 15 to 90 seconds in length that can incorporate uh, trending music or just music you like, multiple video clips, which is lovely for property tours or uh, just having a little fun, audio clips, we can have fun there if we want. But what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is uh, TikTok has everybody freaked out is what the big deal is. Everyone's afraid. Uh, and so Instagram has answered back with essentially copying TikTok uh, with Instagram reels like they are known to do. Uh, even YouTube is a little worried about TikTok and YouTube is now offering shorts. Um, and now TikTok's a little afraid of YouTube. So TikTok's going to offer 10 minute videos. In other words, the rivalries are there. The fighting, the competition is there. Who benefits? People like you and me if we make videos. There is a window of opportunity here. Uh, and I say window because reels can now be boosted. Uh, and so with this monetization of reels, we, we might start to see a dip in organic views. Maybe, maybe not. The time is now 
to to definitely take advantage of all of this. Uh, yes, we can repurpose for other platforms. We'll talk a little bit about that today, but this is currently one of the best places to get in front of new people. And one of the best places to, to get new followers is through Instagram Reels. And so first rule of thumb, uh, please, 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 please shoot vertically, use vertical video on Instagram Reels. I've seen a lot of people move their YouTube videos over to Instagram uh, in that horizontal format. And that you can do it. Uh, it you can totally do it technically. You're just going to find those videos have a difficult time performing in most cases. Um, it's, uh, it can be an overnight fix, really. So uh, this is an example of someone who I worked with uh, overnight. So he was repurposing his YouTube videos, making the horizontal try to work in that vertical format. I mean, 53 people saw it. That's great. But we did some work and we got the phone turned around and we did the things that Instagram wants us to do. And within 24 hours, he had 2000 views. So we'll take that improvement. Basically, we do what Instagram wants us to do and they reward us by showing our videos to more people. So we got to get it in that vertical format <clears throat> or shoot that way. Okay, so let's talk about local content. The easy way, um, now that we're shooting vertically and we kind of get that idea, I don't know if you guys remember listening to speakers before the pandemic, I don't know, within the last five to seven years, people would get up on stage and say, so to do community videos, you uh, you, you know, you have to have pre-production and then uh, hire a, a, a videographer and you got to get separate mics and then we're going to edit the interview. I mean, it was this long, drawn out, expensive process. And I, there's a place for that. Don't get me wrong. Uh, there is a place for that. But on Reels, things can be so much simpler and you can probably get even more, more views by going a more authentic way. So this is my, uh, my friend Jerry, who said he wanted to highlight a neighborhood or excuse me, a restaurant. And I said, great, do me a favor, just film your experience, add music from Instagram, add transcriptions or captions. And then I want you to <clears throat> not just tag, but I want you to collaborate with the local business uh, because that'll get your video in their feed and out to their people. So he said, okay, so I just want you to watch how simple this was. Jerry got 9,000 views. This was one of his very first videos highlighting a, a local restaurant. Here we go. I'm heading to the brand new Raphael's Restaurant, San Pedro. I love these guys. Let's take a look. So here we have Jerry walking in from a couple different angles, which I don't understand, Mitch, but whatever. We let it go. Right? And then he bellies up to the bar. This is just his point of view from his phone. This is what people want. And I want that cocktail. Then he gave his phone to the manager, and the manager filmed the chef making his dinner. Jerry's still drinking at the bar, by the way. And then uh, dinner is served, full restaurant, and then watch this. He kisses it with his brand at the end. You can kiss your videos at the, at the end with your brand, your uh mr pomona your miss sherman oaks whatever that that might be right so he did all the right things it didn't take him anything really to edit that it was just his experience at the restaurant and uh 9, 000 views nearly overnight for him on that um, we kept it simple so why and how should i collaborate on instagram well when you invite someone to to collaborate they can share your post to their profile grid and with their followers in their feed. And if they share it, they'll be shown as another author on the post. So awesome. All those things are awesome. If you've never done this, it's quite easy to do. So if you were to collaborate on Instagram, 
All you do is hit that tag people button, but pay really close attention to it. There's an option to invite a collaborator. We tap on invite collaborator. An invitation is essentially sent out to the collaborator, to the business where, and you can search for them, find them, send them this invitation. Um, and then you'll just hit done. And then on their side, uh, they will basically um, review your invitation. They'll review it. If they choose to accept it, awesome. It's just all done. So collaborating versus, versus just tagging, when you're going to work with local businesses to brand yourself as Mr. This or Miss That, that's a, a great way to get in front of new eyeballs with reels. All right. Moving on, showing off your local involvement. It's just another idea for another way to go on your reels. This is something quite simple that my friend Lee did. Um, just take a listen. It's just a nice little reel. Hey friends, Lee Brown here with One Community Real Estate. And I'm gonna show you something a little different today. So if you're wondering about this pretty room that I'm in with this very nice shade of gray, you know, realtors love this gray but you're also gonna see a comfortable rug and some comfortable chairs and some art. And you're gonna see my friend, David Cunningham. David is a professional school counselor at a STEM school right here in Charlotte. And he designed this calm room to help kids who are struggling with anxiety and stress. And instead of putting them into a very cold and mean ISS environment, to give them a space to come get re-centered and keep it together so that they can be successful, not just in school, but in life. So when you meet somebody like a David, of course you want to support what he's doing because what he's doing is really, really big. And in a school system, you know that takes some cash dollars. And so I want you to check out the GoFundMe where you can help put couches in here and you can also help. You guys get the general idea. Mitch, I'm gonna make you buy some pearls. <laughs> That's what That is what that was ultimately about is you gotta wear some pearls. Uh, all right. So you guys could see that that was a, a nice little reel about local involvement, um, it, it, a kind of a way to be political without being political, I suppose. It's kind of an in interesting way to look at it. All right. A quick little word on hashtags. I get asked about hashtags a lot on Instagram. Yeah, you can have 30. No, it's probably not a good idea to use 30. Uh, Instagram's actually backpedaled on this a bit, and they're saying five to seven is a better sweet spot because they want you to be relevant. With 30 hashtags, we just start making stuff up, <laughs> and, and that ends up not being helpful to anybody. So offer kind of some large hashtags, some medium-sized, and some small, and then, of course, your branded hashtag for Miss, Miss Sherman Oaks or whatever the case may be. So, for example, if... In that video that we just saw with Lee, I would have suggested to her something like hashtag Cabarrus County, hashtag Cabo Co, which is short for that, hashtag school board, hashtag Miss Charlotte, and then hashtag her name. That's a nice little set of five uh, hashtags. We just don't want to go crazy with a lot of irrelevant hashtags. They're not going to make or break you. They, It's just not the world we're in anymore with Instagram. Instagram's not relying on hashtags as much as they used to. Mostly they can kind of hurt you when we don't use them properly. Um, okay. And of course, with your reels in terms of ideas, of course you want to offer real estate advice and be the real estate expert for your city. I just suggest you keep it really simple. We answer frequently asked questions. I would have that in your feed fairly regularly. And I do suggest that you add the automated captions or the transcriptions. Let's just look at my friend Katie. She's in Houston. And this is a, a type of video she does mm, at least a few times a week. Here we go. I want to buy a fourplex and owner occupy it. Do you think they're overvalued? So if you are trying to house hack, you can definitely do it here in the greater Houston area. But be prepared if you're looking for a fourplex to be paying anywhere between 600, 800K, maybe up to a million dollars for that fourplex to have four units. You can find duplexes and triplexes for less money, 
but there's always going to be that trade-off of quality and location versus price. So know where you're willing to concede and know if you have the ability and the means to do work on the entire property after closing. And also, if you want to do that house hack, keep in mind you're going to be living right next to or on top of or whatever with your tenants. So just make sure you're comfortable with that if you're going to go down that route. So that's pretty simple stuff. I, I get that. I'm not showing this to you because I thought it was the most original idea. Actually, just the opposite. You don't have to have totally original thoughts and ideas. You want to take basic information that consumers like me need and the way you deliver it will be authentic, whether it's your your sincerity, your humor, your passion, your credibility, your authority, whatever the, the mojo that you bring to a video will make the video authentic. So I think it's a good idea to follow people like Katie and, and, and look at the basic frequently asked questions and then get yourself in front of that nice flat light. We've got nice, even light. She is wearing a lapel mic. We hear her beautifully and we just offer the information on a regular, consistent basis. So uh, Katie Day is, is her name. Uh, and it's totally okay to have fun. Uh, Mitch and I have kind of talked about this, that it doesn't have to be all business all the time. Yeah, let's show off our communities. Let's show our involvement. And if you want to have fun, this is my friend, Kristen. She does her Sundays funnies. Uh, this is what, this is what she did a couple weeks ago. Oh my gosh, that's cool. The only thing colder is the real estate market. But just because the real estate market is cool doesn't mean you can't still get your home sold. All it takes is a pricing strategy and great marketing. So call me. All right. And I am not telling you all you have to do that. Be that silly. You don't have to lip sync. We don't have to dance. But it's, it is okay to show off your personality and have a little bit of fun. Instagram is a great place to do all of that. Facebook has been so separate with, well, personal's got to be personal and your business posts have to be on your business page. It is not that way on Instagram. You're allowed to have some fun. Uh, all right, let's talk about repurposing reels. And so why not try to post to all the places? I know some people would object and say, well, uh, consumers get frustrated when they see the same content in multiple places. I would say, let that be your problem for a while. Um, I think it's okay to not, to, to not be satisfied with just Instagram, but let's post that same video where we can, when we can to TikTok, YouTube shorts, Facebook, LinkedIn, even your Google business page. As long as the video is under 75 megabytes, Google will accept vertical videos. Who knew? But I know because I tried it and it worked. So how do we do this? My suggestion, and this is a nut to crack, everybody. I don't have the exact perfect answer for how to do this because it does not exist just yet. But one process that I think works well, works well for me, is while I'm in Instagram, after I've edited my video, then I save it to my phone before I add music. So I'll just kind of say that again. I edit it on Instagram, save it to my phone before I add music. Why? Because I want that kind of bare raw video that's got some basic edits done. I want that available to me so I can then go to TikTok and use TikTok's music. Then I'm going to go to Facebook and I'm going to use Facebook's music, which will probably be similar to Instagram's. Facebook owns Instagram. It's usually the same music, usually. Uh, then I might put it on YouTube. I may or may not put YouTube music underneath it. If I do, I'm definitely using that free library just to be safe. Maybe I'll put it on LinkedIn. No music there. Maybe I'll put it on Instagram. Uh, excuse me, on Google, uh, my Google business page. I'm not going to use music there. You don't have to do all of these places, but I think it would be an interesting exercise for you to get into the habit of distributing a video and maybe just maybe don't be satisfied with just Instagram and see if this process works for you. 
we could go the other way, but then we've got the TikTok logo issue. And if there's time afterwards, maybe this group of smart people, we can all brainstorm around that if you decide to start with TikTok first. Um, but anyway, that's the process I am currently using myself uh, so that I am distributing my video in more than one place, more than Instagram. So I download it to my phone. That's the download button download it before I add music. Then we go to all the other places like YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. Most of them have that little plus button, right? But even Facebook, uh, you can see here, they're offering you to be able to load up a reel right then and there, just right from your camera roll. You've just saved it. Um, you can go put it up there. So distribution, it's not as sexy and as fun as the making of the video, but more equally important, right? Because marketing essentially is content plus distribution. And um, this is, I'm asking you to focus on that distribution. So with your Google business page, uh, you could add uh, your videos as an update, must be 75 megabytes or less. So it's gotta be a pretty short video, but it is possible to do on Google. Christy, uh, Christy yes. real fast, when yeah. you're on the Google page, there was a question from Scott. Scott, was what was your question about getting them up on Google? Yeah, so I've had them trying to put them on Google before and made sure that they're 75 megabytes or less. And I've done that through uploading them to the QuickTime editor and converting them that way. But sometimes Google still rejects the video. So when Google rejects it, what do you recommend doing? If all the parameters that we could see are the way they're supposed to be. Yeah, isn't Google frustrating? <laughs> Because they don't yeah. they don't tell you what exactly is being rejected. I've had the same problem, like the basically the same video or the same type of video. One goes through, one doesn't. Um, I can tell you, I, I believe in the in the captioning. Are you doing you're doing this as an update or as a post, Scott? Usually as a post. As a post, yeah. Um, I know they don't like hashtags. They don't like extra information they kind of like it straight up dull in terms of the caption um i don't know if that had anything to do with it but take a look at your caption and just make sure it's as simple as it can possibly be um, okay start there and no um, mu no music yeah i would definitely not have any music in the background yeah okay I, so I, even if it's silent that's better than music for google yeah. Just a, you know, the okay. copyright issues. Yeah. They, they, they're so afraid of the copyright issue situation that, that on Google, no music. Gotcha. So, that made sense. I just wanted to clarify. Yeah. Cool. Um, so that's why we're saying, you know, you can edit the video on YouTube, download it without the music. Some of them aren't going to go on Google. The Google videos that I post are for the Google My Business page are not really entertainment. They would be more like your market minute. Oh yeah. Right. I would keep Project. it definitely business oriented. Just, yeah. Just, this is me. This is a market in a minute. And then, you know, just, you know, and then compress it. The other problem is, is sometimes when you compress it, if the quality is bad, then they want, they want it a smaller size, but they also want the quality to stay. <laughs> so it's, uh, we've had, we've seen some get rejected because they weren't clear. So just, okay. you know, yeah. just, just, I, my thing is we've had situations with Google, my business where we've had to post two or three, we just take a shot, you know, get it to where it's under that 75 and put it there. The other thing is, is it takes it a long time sometimes to load. So you may think that it didn't load, but it did. So you go back and check the next day. We have a Google, my business, okay. page has Google, but my business page that we thought it didn't load. And then we came back a couple days later and, the, the video is there three times. Oh, nice. <laughs> cool. Good, good, good. Um, Okie dokie. So moving on. Oh, I think you guys are going to love this. If you haven't heard about this one yet, this is a great time-saving trick uh, for how to create a great reel really fast. So um, this is leveraging the use template trick. Uh, 
again, if you haven't tried this, this one's worth trying out today even. So let me take you through what this is. Let's say you find a really cool video. Uh, it's a listing video. You love the music. You love how it's perfectly timed to the beat of the song. So this is Instagram specific. Um, what's awesome is if that video was originally edited within Instagram, Instagram is making the template available for people to use. So this will make more sense as you, as you watch this. Let's watch this video and pretend that we all love this music and this, uh, this, this video. get the general idea, right? That was music that was in House of Gucci. It's cool music. And it was edited perfectly on the one, two, three, four. We push in and we pan and we pull out and all the camera movements are happening, which gives it energy. All right. To do that um, on your own can take a lot of time and, and a lot of thumb energy, right? It's a lot of thumb energy. What we do is we tap on use template. And what Instagram will make available to you is the music. Um, it will pull in the music and then it will give you placeholders so that you can plug in your video of your listing or property into these exact placeholders that have been perfectly timed to the beat of the music. Does that make sense, Mitch? I'm just looking at you because your face is on top. Um, yeah, 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 it's such a huge time saver. So just to prove the point, here's what's not um, interesting or sexy is me at the La Brea Tar Pits with my family. However, I can even plug in photos if I don't have video. Video is better, especially video that's got movement to it. So now when you're taking property video vertically, you want to push in, pull out and pan um, with some energy. Uh, that's going to be better to use, but you could just put in photos if you had to. And now we get everything perfectly timed to the beat of the music. But you guys get the idea. You can use these templates to show you in and about town. Uh, maybe you do want to go to the La Brea Tar Pit, right? But this works for listing videos. This can work for a quick video if, if you're out and about doing something interesting around town. Now, your next question might be, okay, but where do we get those templates? So a couple of places to go. Um, you can uh, follow at use underscore template. So use underscore template if you're on your phones right now. That is a an account where you can literally use the templates. They're not all property videos. There are a variety of different templates, uh, but they've got some cool music and cool edits. Um, the other account to follow, uh, and these are not friends of mine, I just stumbled upon them, uh, that would be Nava Realty, N as in Nancy, A-V-A, -A, Nava Realty. They're, uh, they do some great listing videos, and in many cases, you can use their templates. So uh, again, a great way to uh, take very little time to make an effective video. Your sellers don't need to know how easy this is. Um, and so you can say in a listing presentation that you'll be making multiple videos for Instagram reels uh, of their property. They don't need to know. It takes you only two minutes or less to do it. Okay. If you need ideas for what to do around town, um, you know, if you're just feeling like you're running short uh, or just, it's funny, I looked up my own area and I was reminded of this really great mural that, uh, yeah, it would be interesting to show off to people who don't know the area where I live. Anyway, Atlas Obscura 
it's a really bizarre name, but that website, Atlas Obscura, will help you search your city for little hidden gems. Um, and it might just get your creativity going as you're focused on being Mr. or Miss Sherman Oaks. Uh, it's it's fun to be reminded of what is cool about Sherman Oaks. So that's a good website. Uh, another hack that I, I like is leveraging national days, <clears throat> but doing it a little bit differently. If you go to wave.video forward slash calendar, I know that's a mouthful, but wave.video forward slash calendar, it's going to tell you what national day it is. So for example, maybe today is uh, National Waffle Day, right? <laughs> Great. Um, instead of just doing a, a post that says happy National Waffle Day, maybe you're focused on uh, using green screen and highlighting your favorite waffle place in Sherman Oaks or in whatever area you're in. So we find a way to take a national day and spin it towards a local business, maybe collaborate with them. Um, it's just a, a lot more interesting than you know, happy waffle day, right? So that's a fun way to rethink content around your city and with your local businesses. How to get more views and more likes. I, that's the, the million dollar question I know. Um, but a few best practices, some we've already kind of gone over. Shoot vertically for reels and for TikTok for that matter. The horizontal videos, you can do it. They just won't perform as well usually. Uh, make the first three seconds of your reel compelling. In other words, you don't necessarily have time for a long introduction. We don't have time. We don't have time for this, Mitch. We don't have time for, hi, this is Christy Keneally. And today we're going to talk about in episode 101 or, or whatever, right? Like I've already scrolled. We don't have time for that uh, with, with almost any platform. Say what it is you're going to talk about and then talk about it. People will know who you are by visiting your profile uh, or you can save an introduction for the end. But if people watch at least three seconds of your video, we know from studies that at least half of the audience will watch the next 30 seconds. So that's been studied and proven. So we've got to make the first three seconds compelling. Add captions through your stickers tool. If you are talking on camera, we want the, the transcription there. It just it helps with un, uh, people's ability to understand in many ways. Uh, and if they're sound is off, that will work. And then add a music layer if you can, um, and just balance the sound low. So it's underscoring. But when we add music, we add captions, we shoot vertically, we make the first three seconds compelling, good things start to happen. Uh, and then a couple other tricks or just thing, best practices, make sure you share your reels as stories. You can do that. Once the reel is on your grid, you just tap on it and it, you'll have the ability to share to your story just like any other post. So that's going to pick up some more views for you. Mostly it'll nurture your current followers, but still we love that. And this is brand new. You're actually now allowed to boost your reels like boosting a post on Facebook, you can now boost your reels. Um, if this is how you could reach some new eyeballs who in theory are like your current followers. There's a bunch of rules for, that Instagram has in place around doing this. It's, uh, it's gonna get interesting to see how this changes. Mostly I, I think you should boost reels that are performing well organically. So maybe get your organic groove on, right? Do enough of these to get a good feel for what works. Look at your views and look at what's working um, and then consider boosting. But if you boost, the reel's got to be less than 60 seconds, has to be vertical format. Um, 
Instagram doesn't really want, they don't want any special effects. They don't want uh, copyrighted music, no third party app music, no stickers. It, it, it's pretty dull stuff at the moment. Um, and you can't boost reels if they've been shared to Facebook already. And you're probably not going to be allowed to boost older reels. So again, there's a bunch of rules. Be aware that this ability uh, is here. We are allowed to do this. Uh, it's just a lot of rules until they hopefully loosen up some of these rules. But that is new. And then something else you, that you all might be interested in is you can actually add your Instagram feed to your website with a free little widget. The widget is called Elf Site. And it's really simple. It acts like most other widgets where you just paste code into a web page. Um, and you can see here, this is the code that I was given for my little website. I pasted it into my web page that I wanted to devote to Instagram. And there's my Instagram feed yeah. on my website. Yeah. Super cool. Um, and that's a free little tool through Elf Site. And last but not least, the thing we never think about, but probably worth trying or doing is link to your Instagram reels from your emails. If you're highlighting a property um, and you're talking about it, maybe it's part of a you know deal of the week or you're, you're just uh, talking about a property for sale. If you've got a reel about it, link to it. Um, let's leverage your email database, get them looking at your stuff on reels. It's easy, just copy and paste. It's just a URL. Uh, so bottom line, Instagram reels, they're short form video and they can be quite powerful right now because of all of the rivalries going on. You can brand yourself as your city's expert. Take advantage of this weird window of time before monetization um, you know, <laughs> kills kills the buzz, right? But uh, right now, things are still working well organically. Provide local content consistently. You got to, I gave you a website. I'll give you all of those websites here in just a second. Hashtag appropriately for your area, for your city. Don't get too irrelevant with your hashtags. Use best practices from today, like making the first three seconds, three seconds compelling. Collaborate with local businesses when you can. Try to repurpose some videos where you can. I know there can be some challenges in that. It's what I feel like I look at all day long is trying to figure out how, the, how to best repurpose because these platforms like their own tools. Um, so it gets a little tricky, but it's worth pursuing, worth looking at. And if you want to take a quick picture of uh, this slide. This is our little tools recap. I mean, obviously we focused on reels today, but we talked about the use template trick. We talked about atlasobscura.com to look at hidden gems within your city for content for your uh, Mr. or Miss City. Wave.video forward slash calendar or whatever tool you use that tells you national days of the week. Just spin that. Think of that a little bit differently now that you're trying to brand yourself as Mr. Sherman Oaks. And then elfsite.com for Instagram, uh, for that widget for your website to get your Instagram feed on your website. Why not? It's kind of fun. And with that, uh, I'm just going to put this out there that if anyone would like to follow up one on one with me, I'm happy to do that. Um, uh, you can reach me through this QR code. Mitch, I've decided that my name is ridiculous uh, for email. There's just too many K's <laughs> and too many N's and too many L's. And I apologize for my Irish heritage. <laughs> and there should be an A in there somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, but if you guys want to scan this QR code, it'll email me. And I'm happy to work with you one-on-one uh, -on -one to dive deeper into any of these things. I'm I'm here as part of this program to help support you. Uh, and you certainly are welcome to follow me on the gram. I do tech tips, uh, but Mitch knows there's some 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 silly stuff and I'm not in I'm not ashamed. Uh so um, 
there was there was there was a thank you so much first of all thank you so much for being here you're welcome every time i take your class i learn something new one of the things that we forgot to put in the presentation that i was thinking of is that i need you guys to check your spam filters on these because here's the thing reels go out to strangers right instagram shows reels to people but what happens if someone sees a reel and they send you an email before they're following you it goes to your spam so you need to check those fairly often and that goes across all social media um i had a training session just last week with someone on facebook and we checked her spam and like you know there was a message from someone who had died you know because they weren't friends but they had gone to high school together so um i know me personally i have gotten a transaction off of instagram and the the person just was like i'm i'm moving from one part of the state to where you are you seem to know the area we need some direction but again they didn't follow me they had seen a reel and it was in my spam so just make sure that you check that also it confirmed this morning by the end of the week you guys should all should have access to your instagrams with your new designation if you don't have those yet but you should have those by the end of the week um so we've created we've created an instagram page for everyone's designation as well so we need to be posting you know on our personal but also on our designation because we're trying trying to brand ourselves our cities um there was a question from dan and i don't know if we answered it because we talked about how to we did answer it dan Good. Okay. So um, does anyone else have any questions about what we discussed today or just about the, the program in general? Oh, we're good. All right, everyone. As always, I'm available for any questions off topic. Christy, I want to thank you again for coming and giving us those, those, those tricks. Um, and uh, if you have done so Kelly, you have not, the rest of you, this concludes our kind of like content training for the DLE network. We've got the three classes, the intro, the YouTube, and the Instagram class. So if you've taken all three, um, we, we're going to start the masterminding next month um, on some other tricks and stuff. But right now um, you're done. Kelly, we still need to see you on the first class, right? You, you came and you came to the second class and third class. You haven't done the first one yet. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.